always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Simply put, it is a terrific Tuesday in West Michigan. Plenty of sunshine, comfortable warmth as we check things out in Grand Rapids. Moving through the midday hours here, our temperature stationed at 75 degrees. The dew point just above 60 now. Feels like 77 with a southwest flow to the wind, which is calmer than yesterday at 6 miles an hour. Here's a look at our current temperatures. Middle to upper 70s. It is 75 in Hastings and Grand Rapids. We have a temperature of 77 in Kalamazoo. And just a touch cooler approaching Ludington, Big Rapids, and Mount Pleasant at 73 degrees in each location and temperatures are continuing to stair step upwards. It is currently two degrees warmer than this same time yesterday in Grand Rapids, a five degree difference in Holland and Allegan. And we have our wind steered from the southwest. It is currently sustained at about five miles per hour or less. So again, we have seen that wind lose some strength versus yesterday. It looks to be a mostly sunny and really pleasant afternoon as temperatures rise into the lower 80s around most of West Michigan, including a high of 80 in White Cloud, 81 in Stanton, 82 today in Carson City, 81 in Big Rapids, expecting the temperature to make it to 83 in Hastings and Ionia, a high today of 82 in Allegan, 79 along the lake shore in Holland, and further south, the temperature looks to make it just a little bit higher at 84 in Dwajak, 83 in Sturgis, and 83 degrees in Battle Creek. We are going to be heating up as we continue forward here, a long streak of highs in the 80s. In fact, the entirety of the eight-day forecast is going to be at 80 degrees or above. And though there is the chance of seeing a couple of isolated showers from time to time, there's really no significant rain chances in the near future. So it looks like our drought conditions may deepen in the coming days. Here's a look at future cast now. Mostly sunny skies expected for this afternoon. There you can see that as we travel into tonight, north of I-96, there is the chance at least of a few blips on the radar, but not a whole lot of rain expected to fall in the gauges. As we continue into tomorrow afternoon, it looks like that disturbance clears out. We have mostly sunny skies again, and we're on track for some more peaceful weather. Turning our attention to uh, the Gulf of Mexico, by no means peaceful there. That's where we have Tropical Storm Francine continuing to gather strength as it looks like that's going to be continuing to push to the north toward the uh, Louisiana coastline in the coming days. We should expect that to make landfall as we get into tomorrow afternoon, likely as a Category 1 or 2 hurricane, and then it looks to make its migration further north. It looks like that'll dissipate some as it continues to uh, impact with high pressure, which will be nearby. So unlikely to pick up on a whole lot of precipitation from that feature either. We do have that chance of seeing a few isolated showers north of I-96 tonight, a few more dry days, and then through the weekend and beyond, we have about a 10% chance of some showers each day. But again, not really a whole lot expected there. As we check out the eight-day forecast, you can see that our temperatures are going to be on the rise, middle to upper 80s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Thursday, there is the chance that a few locations touch 90 degrees. We will see some more cloud cover work in through the weekend. That's going to be associated with the leftovers of Francine. And again, a very minor chance of rain each day. Next week looks to be really pleasant with high temperatures in the lower 80s. Emily and Sue.